title, U.S. pulls a reversal and re-enters the UNESCO squad after half a decade break. T.L.D.R. Pull up a chair, fam. After a five-year hiatus, the U.S. just got back in the UNESCO game. Concerns over China filling the power vacuum might have pushed the U.S. to rethink its CEO, wouldn't want to be a stance. Looks like Uncle Sam will be doling out $150 mil for the 2024 budget to cover dues and arrears. But hey, who's counting, right? Strap in for the full scoop. And just like that, the U.S. is back with the cool kids on the UNESCO block. You know, that Paris-based science, education, and culture crew. After five years of playing the lone wolf, Uncle Sam decided to make nice and rejoin the UNESCO family. Why now, you ask? Well, seems like the main motive behind this move might be the fear of China flexing its muscles a bit too much in the leadership department. Talk about FOMO, right? During the Trump years, the US said adios to UNESCO, claiming an anti-Israel bias. This decision took a while to process, like all good breakups, and officially kicked in a year later. But who's got time for grudges in this fast-paced world? Fast forward to now, and the Biden administration is ready to commit. They've even dropped the L word in the form of a legal document stating they're all in for this UNESCO reunion tour. UNESCO's head honcho, Audrey Azule, confirmed it's all official and a big welcome bash is planned for late July. Are we invited, though? But, here's the catch, rejoining ain't cheap, fam. Biden's peeps have already requested a whopping $150 million for the 2024 budget to cover dues and arrears. They even have plans to keep paying until the full debt of $619 million is settled. That's some serious coin. Before the U.S. split, they were chipping in a cool 22% of UNESCO's annual operating budget. Now that's what we call being a team player. So, now with the U.S. back in the mix, the UNESCO crew counts 194 members. Azule seems pretty chuffed about it, saying it's excellent news for multilateralism as a whole. But remember... The U.S. has been known to have a love-hate relationship with UNESCO, pulling out in 1984 during the Reagan administration due to corruption claims and a perceived pro-Soviet bias. They decided to rejoin in 2003 under George W. Bush. Let's hope third time's a charm, eh? As we close this saga, the question we gotta ask ourselves is, how will this U.S. comeback impact the dynamics at UNESCO and global politics as a whole? And more importantly, can we expect more flip-flopping in the future, or is this reunion here to stay? Or, is the US just scared of that growing power vacuum and China stepping up? Let us know what you think in the comments below.